everyone, Vizio here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be a tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple banner like this. Simple, clean, and it's really easy for any beginner. So let's get started. So first you want to open up Photoshop and we're going to hit create new. And the dimensions I'm going to be using are 3000 by 1000. Um, make sure your color mode's on RGB, white background, doesn't really matter, and create. Okay, here's our canvas. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to come up with some colors. So here I used blue, but I say you want to use purple, whatever. You can go to a website called coolers.co, pick out some colors. You see, we'll start the generator. This is a really good website to use on any of your projects because it makes it easier to pick colors. So, I'm thinking we could do something... I'm thinking we do we can do something like bluish reddish purple so we can we'll just use these two i know we'll, we'll just use blue again so you're going to take your darker color and you're going to copy the hex code you're going to click this right here and you're going to paste the hex code in there okay and now you're going to hold alt and backspace and it'll color your background so now that you have that you'll take your second color okay you'll make a new layer you'll get your brush you're gonna make this kind of big, so you're gonna hold Alt and right click, and you'll be able to make it bigger, like that, if you move your mouse left to right. So you're gonna make it about that size, and move up to change the hardness to zero. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, like that. So now I want my color to be the other light blue that we had, so I'm gonna make this a bit bigger, I'm gonna zoom out, I'm gonna put it on each corner, like, like so. See, so now we have that little glow. Okay, I'm going to lower the opacity a bit. And I'm thinking this blue doesn't really go. So I'm just going to take the color I already have. I'm going to move it down a bit. Make it around there. I'm going to change the background color. Again, you can just change color and then Alt, Backspace, boom. Like that. Easy peasy. So now that we have that, we're going to add the logo. The logo I'm going to be using is the one from Team Solo Mid. Because that's a cool team, right? So I'm going to paste the logo. There you go. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. And then, my bad, I'm going to right click, make sure want to is selected, and then you're going to click the black parts, and it'll select that, and you're going to hit backspace, and then boom, there's your logo. So, pretty much, I'm going to, so pretty much, I'm going to turn this into a smart object, so I'm going to right click the layer, hit convert to smart object. Now I'm going to duplicate it, and then I'm going to hide the top layer, we'll be using that later. But right now, I want to do the background. So I'm going to make this big. Okay, I want to make this pretty big. Like right around... Mm, I just wanted... This is pretty much going to be my background. So I can move it up here. I can move it up down here. I don't know. It's really up to you. I'm going to keep mine right around there. Because I think that looks cool. As a pattern. It's pretty much like the pattern of your, of your background. Around there. So now I have that. I'm going to go to filter. I'm going to go to noise. And I'm going to go to add noise. I'm going to add a bunch of noise. So I can make it a gauge. And make sure it's monochromatic though. Okay. So there's a diff couple of different ways that you can do this background. So it looks like this. Um, you could just lower the opacity. But like this. But there's a better way of doing it. You can click this. And make sure you the blending mode that you pick is vivid light and so only the white pixels will show up if, if you're using a different color you might have to look through the blending mode to make sure like you find one that only has one of the color of the pixels so like right here it's just the white one so i'm gonna click vivid light and i'm gonna lower the opacity to around 14. no we'll lower it to around 10 percent like that go to text and so we're going to use the font uh, DDIN Pro so I'm gonna use I'm gonna be using uh, extra bold and semi bold so we're gonna pick extra bold first we're gonna type out our name John Doe okay let me make the text white okay so we have our text right here John Doe can align that now we're going to hold alt and you're going to hold shift and you're going to drag. Okay. The same thing. We're going to put professional. We're going to put social media manager. 
Okay, and this you're gonna make semi bold. Okay, now we can make this a little smaller, like that. Make sure you're still holding shift. Okay, and now we're gonna add that logo we hit earlier, like so. And we're just gonna align this over here. And then make sure you align all of this. Actually, we're gonna put some contact information here. We're gonna put left align. It'll like, yeah, se select all, left align. Okay, so contact. I can spell <laughs> contact John Doe at gmail.com. Okay, our leading here is a little too close, so we're just gonna select all of it, go here, make sure this is set to auto, like that. So there you go, now we get to center all this. Kinda wanna make my text smaller here, I feel like it's too big. Yeah, I'm gonna make my text a bit smaller. In fact, I'm going to align this and like that. Now you just select the three layers and you go over here to center. And boom, just like that, you got a pretty simple banner. Looks nice and clean. Got some texture in the background. Takes like a couple minutes. So yeah. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more things like this, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Uh, follow, go follow my social medias, and yeah, that's it. Adios.